What is up, Ram fam? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're here with live. We got William Harris here. Early start. It is a little early. <laughs> you ain't kidding, but hey, you were ready. I, I was just sitting here. I, I got ahead of my schedule. I was like, yeah, why not? Um, so today we'll be doing um, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Thank you very much for that. Like, cheers. How are you doing? Ah, that's delicious. That is delicious. Um, which I have right here. Coincidentally, if you look at the back, this is Need for Speed 3. That somehow has the cover to crash <laughs> and the game inside. I don't know. I remember now that I made a trade with somebody. It was I had a PS2 game. I gave him for this old PS1 game. Because originally I had it in a jam pack PS2 case. And the manual didn't fit or whatever. And eventually I got this Need for Speed 3 case somehow. And I don't know. So I, I apparently I put it together. Some memories came back. And uh, keep in mind, I didn't think that this worked a few, three or four or five times. I tried to start it before the stream. I turned it on, left for a while, came back and found it. It works. It takes time. So give it a minute. Um, am I on the rum or whiskey? This is Jameson. I believe that is whiskey. Really don't drink much rum. The only rum I have is Kraken, and it was a gift. It's very strong, so I don't drink a lot of it. Um. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll be giving that a try here in just a second. Uh, if it's your first time watching us, even after the stream is over, uh, please drop a follow. Same thing on YouTube. Drop a sub. Appreciate all of you guys. Drop a like if you've been here before, or even if you've uh, <coughs> are new. And uh, your shares, your chats, your stars, all the great things. Do what William did. Just drop a like. Pretty cool. He's already a follower. He's a great guy. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Because this is going to take us... Kraken is the best. If I'm going to drink rum, it's Kraken. For sure. I like Kraken. In fact, one of my uh, aliases... If ever I was at like a laser tag place or something where you have to like give your name or a coffee shop is cracking me butt, M I B U T T, or M I U M I B U T. If you want to be less conspicuous, cracking me butt, crack in my butt. It's a good one. First name Kraken. Oh, it's gonna black screen for a while, but it will come up. I hope. I've seen it work twice now. The other four or five times I gave up too early. Hey. I didn't realize, so. <clears throat> my girlfriend's got Crash 4. And I thought I was gonna have to play this in case Crash 2 didn't work. And there's an ad for Spyro 1 inside this. Woo! And I remember in one of the Spyro games, so there's a demo for Spyro 1 and Crash 4. And in one of the Spyro games, Crash you play Crash 4 two. in the demo. I think it's the second one. Strikes back. And uh, I find it funny that Spyro came out so much later. Alright, control, you can turn on anytime. Let's go. Ryan, what up? I saw that, and I'll get to you in a second after this cutscene. Can't do that. <laughs> Crystal. Of course. <laughs> oh, what a classic. But Dr. Cortex to reach full power we need not only your master crystal. Also, there are many twenty-five slave Levant, thank you for that like. Jeez. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any Earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Ooh. Who would that be? Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fine. <laughs> that tongue. Um, right, thank you for that like and share. Cheers. Uh, 
Shit, it starts just like this, huh? Time to get this hype stream rolling aboard this hype train party. Hell yeah. By the way, I uh, saw in that tarnished group. I just turned on my... Uh, Facebook there. And I saw that uh, you had lost your 6.5 million runes. As soon as I saw it, I didn't see your name, but I was like, huh, that... It's lucky Ryan didn't do that. And uh, then I looked at the name, I'm like, oh, it was you. And I warned you. I warned you just like two days ago that you should use those runes so that didn't happen. Because if I remember right, I said, why don't you just use them so nothing can happen to it? And you're like, nah, I'm going to save them up. I get it, too. You also want to see that big number. You kind of want to see the uh, end product. But that's why I don't save them. What is happening? Moving the screen by huge chunks. What am I supposed to do? I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm spazzing out here. Seems like it's working. Try again. I'm just getting a lot of static. Restart. This might be a struggle bus. I did discuss the possibility it would take a couple minutes to do of switching the stream back to my Xbox and doing the insane uh, trilogy just to be able to make this work. But that's when I didn't think it was working at all. And now it works to some degree. Right, it was me being dumb. My com on, uh, common sense, okay. <laughs> just went out the window. Now I have to start all over again. Damn it, now I'm at 1.6 mil. 1.6 mil is still a lot. But you're starting again and it sounds like you, you shouldn't need 1.6 million to go up a few levels. Learn from your lesson, man, and just put those in the levels. Come up with a, a uh, level cap that you want to get to, not a runes cap. So that possibility of you losing all those is eliminated. It cannot happen again if you just use them. <laughs> not using them is kind of what got you in the trouble in the first place. Also, the common sense i guess because i don't really know what happened what happened how did you lose him because you said you'd have to fall off a cliff like twice you put on one of those branches all right all right i guess i guess that's a good move but still you don't have to use a branch if you just use them <laughs> either way it works either way it works is this going to work this time? I don't know. I honestly might have to change games. Change games or do it on um, Xbox.
going to work this time. I don't know that for sure. It just worked three times in a row. All right, guys, we got to talk. We got to talk in the meantime. Got to keep things rolling here. Uh, William, what are you working on now? Have you been playing um, Arma, Sniper Elite? I thought there was another game you were talking about. Spyro. Where are you at in Spyro? William, what are you up to? Uh, Ryan, what, what again is your goal with all these rooms? I know it's just to become overpowered so it's easy and you die a little less, but... I'm trying to remember what was like the number amount you wanted. I don't remember off the top of my head. All right, I'm gonna give this like 30 more seconds. Nothing new it today when drinking it said you're out drinking right now? Or uh, you got home from drinking. I guess it'd be about, what would it be? Midnight or one o'clock? Almost the end of bar time for you. Ryan, you went down to the other branches to kill two of the other fire spitting enemies. Um, first one killed. Oh, killed you and you lost, um, you lost all your rooms and got them back, of course. One gotten dumber and fell off the horse and did that twice, aiming for around 200 or something. 200 million? What's the point of that? It, it won't take that to win. <laughs> You're just putting so much more time into grinding than you have to. And then, according to the comments of one of the other guys I saw in your post, once you do New Game Plus, it's not even spinning. That's a problem. Even if you're not like super great, Ryan, which I bet you you're better than you think you are at the game, you don't need to be over the top strong to beat it. And then like he said in the new game plus rounds, you'll just get so many more runes, it won't matter. You want me home now? Okay, 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 okay. What were you drinking tonight? You having Jaeger bombs? Cheers, by the way. You have some Yeggies. Okay, for whatever reason, the game wasn't spinning, and that's why it wasn't working. I think the reset button doesn't work as well as it used to. Maybe it's not as consistent. Beer and gin? I'm regretting the gin. I've never done gin and not regretted it. You know, anyone who likes gin, though, says that there's a massive difference between cheap rail gin and, like, good gin. You know, say everyone tries the shitty rail gin and they just assume gin is terrible. But there's um, better, more expensive gin. Like, uh, Beef Eaters, I believe, is one from the UK. Right? Ever heard of Beef Eaters? Uh, my dad used to drink that um, when I was a kid. Beef eater and tonic. It has, um, what, like a red coat guy or whatever. I don't know if it's like the Royal Guard or what it is. Something like that on the bottle. I haven't seen it in a long time. But, uh, yeah, I guess I always thought of that as probably being a good one. I, I've only had gin a few times. And I've wanted to barf immediately every time I've had it. One of the times really ruined it for me. I was playing a game called Bardux. 
Right, so Bar Dice is this crazy fun game. Um, and everyone plays it differently, but everyone just calls it Bar Dice, even though there is 10,000 different ways to play the damn game. So the way I played it is you had the cup, five dice, and you roll it, put it down, pull the cup up, and every one on there counted a total count up for all the people playing. So if you had two ones, that'd be two points. Um, and you'd roll until you don't have a one. When you don't have the one, you move it to the next person. Um, and whatever number it is, so say you went on a four, um, four total ones you had, the next person rolls, they get two, it's six, the next person goes. Um, and the game is called 7, 14, 21. So on seven, whoever hits that number has to pick the shot. Whoever gets 14 buys the shot, and whoever gets 21 drinks the shot. So I was playing with a bartender at uh, this place I went to back in college. Damn it, this disc is not being cooperative. And uh, he said, microwaved gin for 20 seconds. He got 14, he, or 7, he picked. And that's what he picked. You do know that that is death, right? I lost. I lost. He also paid so I didn't have to pay for anything besides with uh, about, I don't know, three years of my life. I think I sat there after doing that shot of hot g rail gin. Uh, I sat there not moving, trying whatever it took to just keep my insides down for probably 20 minutes. I didn't move because I knew like the slightest movement would upset my stomach. Couldn't do it. You feel sick now, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Well, I'm mixing Jameson and uh, some classic Bush. So, hopefully that goes okay. And Candy Love, what's going on? Thank you for the like. What up, what up? We're uh, waiting for this game to work, if it does. All right, I screwed up. Okay, we're going to try Crash 4 instead, because this one is being a bit of a butt. I'm going to pretty much bring every PS1 game I have and try to get it resurfaced um, this weekend. Since now I know that's a thing, thanks to uh, Zach Cunningham yesterday on the stream. Shout out to Zach. Thanks for telling me that was a thing. Cheers. Hoping, hoping this works. Here's the thing, I've never beat one or two a Universal or three. Interactive Studios production. So if I beat this, I don't know if I'll beat it. I'm at least playing okay. it for today. Created and developed by Naughty Dog. But if I beat it today, that would mean the first Crash game I beat was four. And I'd be working backwards to just understand the story. Crash Bandicoot 4! What? what was the one? Does anyone know? There was a crash game where it was like a four player mini game. Hold on. <laughs> Free at last. That doesn't seem good. We got a freaking yo yo. Uka, Uka is free. No, it cannot be. <laughs> evil, great evil has come. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Uka, Uka is free. It cannot be. Uka Uka, it was that infernal bandicoot from deep inside my temple prison. I sent you simple instructions to follow, but you lost the gems. 
You lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed! But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! You know, I think it After is three. many eons, my evil twin Not four. Uka Uka has been free now that you say that, because of the prison. Long clock ago, or whatever. I locked him there. He had the red three. The world from his malice. You know, this is, now, the cover is one of those, the game. I don't know if you can really see it, stopped. where you gotta like, move it around to see. So they used to have those in the 90s, like based on the angle. It was like a weird 3D thing. Time twisting machine to gather crystals. It would make pictures pop out versus come back. Time. I have brought you and that's what the game cover looks like. It was actually super cool. And I thought the age looked like a four, I guess. Portal, I don't know Crash that well. And then jump into the portal. Good luck. Again, I've never beat any of them. I played the first one a lot on Insane Trilogy, but I've just never never been that good or committed there was a fourth one though right crash bash is what i'm thinking of there's five crash one two three one two warped which is technically three bash and team racing i loved bash I, uh, I played it with my friends uh, a lot of times, a lot of times. So I crash, crash, crash. Why must you I think I had to get it in my mud? Oh look, I have a on my PC because I didn't have the game extender, and then I could plug PS3 controllers in the PS3, and we got a bunch of people on that. And it was tons of fun. Kayla, thank you for the like. Two was super inconsistent, so we're playing for it. Um, also, this is a uh, thank you Kayla moment. She provided three here. This is not something I owned. This is not my game. It just happened to be in my household. Uh, like. Juice, thank you. I don't make this a fun game, um, but I'm gonna need. Help from everybody else. Um, Ryan, William, Kayla, anybody who's around. Um, every time I get uh, the Booga Booga mask, I'm gonna take a sit. Dang it. Well, I didn't know what that was gonna do. Except for this frog, I got one. Oh. So, if I miss one, let me know. Cheers. I think that could be fun. Oh, that's two. Cheers. Tippity hap happen.
Bonus points, you can name me, tell me the name of the fruit collected in this game. that will be mine. What the? Snickle Fritz? Alright, that's fine, actually. Alright. Double or nothing. If you can name what the... Crystals are called the full name. Is he doing this? Why don't I remember any? Well, because I never had this, that's why. <laughs> What's with, like the Egyptian cross, too? Just crystals? Haha, <laughs> trick question, you correct. I think. I don't know if they had a special name, I don't know it. Infernal Bandicoot. I guess four didn't come out till like what last year, right? Digital collection that's coming up? I did, actually. Isn't it like all the old N uh, Nintendo games or something? Well, maybe I didn't see it. It sounds familiar, but I can't remember. system. Are you sorry for what you get out of your system? Oh, 
Jin, oh. That's fair. Did you puke it out? Sometimes it got to. Mugatu. Cheers. Name what movie Mugatu is a character in. Mugatu. I'll tell you, um... Oh, what's a good hint? Um, Will Ferrell is the actor. What movie is the character Mugatu in? Cheers. You feel better now? Just got a headache? <laughs> oh, that's not much better. Hope in this work. We might have to change games if neither crash game works. I also don't know that this saved. So far, today's been a bit of a mess trying to play these games. Alright. We're going to have to go back to the poll and see what was voted on next. I'll give this game one more shot. But if it doesn't work, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage was number two. But I know Crash was the number one pick by a pretty good margin. Spyro 2. My man, you already knew. Hell yeah. Let me just grab it so it's in queue here while this loads up. Oh, by the way, check this out. So, <clears throat> I did a thing. Um, if you remember, I showed the stream maybe two days ago, one day ago, I don't remember when I was playing Spyro, how I didn't have the game, the cover art, uh, the guidebook, I still don't have the guidebook, let me just preface that, um, and my case is cracked to all hell, so on Etsy there are companies that will do recreations of it. They will not give you the guidebook, but what they will do is print off the cover and the back and the inside art um, for your game. And I did get a brand new Spyro case, and it looks just damn gorgeous. What I will say is I did get another one, which was a four-game disc for Legend of Dragoon. The teeth on the inner, you know, those four-game ones had two inside, and then there was another opening, two inside there. Um, the first and the fourth sat in fine, but the second and the third, the teeth were broke that hold the disc in. So I haven't been able to put all four discs in that case in 20 years. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to get that. And the teeth that they put in there are not the same as the old PS1. It, it, it's, it looks good if it was a collector's item sitting on a shelf, but when I actually try to put the discs in, they really fit and all that. So it kind of sucked. So I got this. It's got in here. And it has Warped in Time demo. What's funny about the uh, advertisement for original Spyro in the Warped in Time case is <laughs> their quotes. They had such good quotes. Stop dragging your feet and try the sin demo of Spyro in this game. Try to find the secret password in the manual and try it. Also, if you didn't know, Zach... How's it going? A, another classic. I'm trying. I have spy, uh, Crash 2 and 3, which it's 2 and 3, actually. And uh, neither one will work. I mean, they'll start sometimes. They'll get a little somewhere, but they're not working. So we're going to switch to Spyro. 
and hope it works. But I'm getting all these resurfaced now that I know that's a thing. So we got that new Spyro 1 case, but we got old Spyro 2 here. Ripto's Rage. How is the disc? Not terrible. I'm finding I have like these little spots that kind of worry me. Small quarter inch spots around some of my discs towards the outsides that I don't like. So we got classic Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, and inside this one, they've got an ad for CTR. But anyway, what I was getting to is, and that case is crushed. Apparently I stepped on that one. That's a bummer, I know. It's been tough pickings trying to get these games to work um, after all these years. But what I think is funny is on almost all of these discs, check this out. They all at the bottom here have a little statement. It's kind of hard to read, so I'll read it for you. I noticed it on one game, and I've noticed it on all of them since. For hints and tips, call 1-900-933-SONY-7669. Uh, 95 cents per minute for auto hints, a dollar forty minute for a live to talk to somebody. It's only open from eight to five. Um, PST must be Pacific time there, Monday through Friday. And five to twenty dollars for card recharge and hint packs, eighteen years plus, and then they have a Canadian phone line too. So almost all of these have a hint line you could call into um, at PlayStation headquarters. How funny is that? At first I thought it was just on that Legend of Dragoon disc that I first noticed it on, then I noticed it on all of them. Spyro 2 is one of my favorites of all time. I love Spyro 2. It was the first one where there was a legit story in each world. You know, first one there wasn't much going on besides you just beat it. If you look closer by, you can rent from my library. They have PS1 games at your library? I never thought to try that. I guess I'd have to start reading books first to know that's a thing. I just read articles with ads online. I'm amazed this is working so well. My Spyro games, not flawless, but working well. Crash 3 is my girlfriend's. Is this rain it was working really well for a while. I don't know I why I stopped. Crash 2, I somehow got in a trade we should go on vacation. Somewhere with a PS2 game Somewhere sunny. years later. Dragon oh, your personal library. Oh, <laughs> oh sure, sure. Hell yeah. I can only imagine you have a good collection, sir. I feel like I have a good collection. Um, I've had a bookshelf for years that my grandparents got me back in middle school for all my PS2 games to put on there. And I put on my PS2 and Xbox 360 games, and it doesn't even fit all of those. Then I got Wii games, PS1 games, and 64, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Yeah, I've got games from almost every console. So I was like, I need a bigger shelf. So I'm working on getting a bigger shelf that's going to fit all my physical games on it. They have claws like this. It's gonna be cool. Like this. When it's ready and when and it's they done. Spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. Dragging my balls on it's Ripto's working. face. I've got a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that the professor's Whoa. eyes made him look drunk all the time. Just Hi. Which way's you know, one of these. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? Zach, so have you played the uh, you got a problem with remastered that, Spyro games? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Ah!
jerk. That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalon. It'll help you begin to understand our world. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Alright, had to do some changes there. Flip the game from Crash to Spyro and everything. and I shared it to some Crash groups who are probably going to give me the old boot skis when they see it's not Crash. Maybe not because Crash and Spyro are pretty tight. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, Cheers! This glass was completely stacked with ice. Like above the rim. Only an hour ago. Cheers. It's getting a little warm. We got some thunderstorms here. You know what I'll say about this spiral? This was a little bit easier. Because uh, in 1 and 3. You uh, gotta kill every enemy for their gems. You don't actually have to kill every enemy in two because they're used to power up stuff. Now, I also. I don't know if I can do it in the original, but in the Reignited Trilogy, I was able to glitch this out, so I was able to beat the first level 100% well before I was supposed to, because you're supposed to um, wait till you have the ladder climb technique learned from money bags, but. I'm pretty sure in the Reignited Trilogy I was able to fly from the first fly thing to the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a checkpoint. You can fly back, or you can double jump off the gen scenery by the ladder. You can double jump off the gen? Oh, gem scenery? Maybe? Oh, this thing? I don't know, where there's a will, there's a way. I'm gonna try. Money bags, the ultimate scumbag. He's honestly the truest villain of these games. To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. Cheers. The best thing the Spyro series ever did is what they let you do to money bags at the end of the third one. What they let you do to him at the end of the third game is truly amazing. And honestly, every time I feel so good.
You forgot one, Mr. Sparks. I also noticed in the Reading Night Trilogy if you try to use this to uh, get to the moles in the mole quest mission line or whatever, uh, you can glitch it out and then you can't win until you leave and come back. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems. I like gems better. No problem, guy. Thank you. My first orb. One of just a couple that I'll ever get. Basically, he just wants me to shoot them all the rocks. My shooting. Follow me to the next one. I gotta say, I really like that hover technique that they added to this game too. So if you notice, if you come in here, it dramatically drops that timer in this game. But in the newer one, you can kind of glitch it. Alright, where are we going? I'll try again. I'll try again. Anything to not have to come back. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, always appreciated how characters have these orbs that they are like, hey, here's some trash I have. <laughs> I don't care about it. You can have it, I guess. That's true, Zach. Here's a magical item that can literally create portals between dimensions, but, uh... I don't know, I don't need it. If you help me with any simple task, I'll just give it to you. I say the only thing I didn't like about this game and drove my OCD crazy was uh Oh shit yeah The key was just being high enough that I could float in do a hover maneuver. Cheers. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. For a while.
Thank you. Head away from the turn around and show me that tail. This is a classic example of the characters that were too fast for your walking speed, but too slow for your running speed. A trend that has never left video games. If you noticed. Uh, is it not this one? Is it the game three or is that just the reunited trilogy? Where if you had all of Oh, I don't have the third item, I don't have a talisman. It would show you all three things you're trying to collect and do 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 and then there'd be a little trumpet noise. Let's see maybe that here. See what happens after Twitchy gives me the glimmer talisman. Where am I supposed to put it without a guidebook? This magic portal let There we go. Burr, 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 burr. We've done it. Time to go to the summer forest. Bad news, bears. Oh, hello. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Whoa. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Been Spyro's there. going to help us collect the talismans. I am? Yes. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? True. If you come across any Although horse, brutal, she just put him down real hard right in front of the it. dragon, okay, the new friend. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. You need lunchtime tomorrow? I might be able to do it. Definitely could do it. Probably only need six hours max. Less than less than six. If I didn't work tomorrow, it'd be a thing. Homeworld called Summer Forest. Mm. There are portals to 
and Zach, I did see that you did uh, drop a reaction. Cheers. Over the castle. Can we need your help? Start by retrieving the talisman from each. Oops, there's a wall there. Sparks. Sparks indicates your health. springs you don't want to do first because you need to swim to 100% it. So you want to go to the one that's surrounded by water um, coincidentally Colossus um, because you can on 100% that. I'm trying to remember. I think Colossus is the one with the Yeti? Hi, Spyro. Do you look like you're... Okay. Not bad. Now try to glide. He's talking like this is my first Spyro. Nice. Oops. Maybe it is. That's why you don't talk shit. To hover. You almost don't need to hover on that one. Very good. Very good, he says that way. Super condescending for a cheetah. Wow, you Cheers. I can't remember if you need four or five hundred for this. I thought it was only four. It's five hundred. Damn. Now I've been tricked I don't know how many billion times to go to Idle Springs first because it's the first portal you see. But then you can't finish it and you have to come back, so. This is the right one. I like that he lifts him up butt first. <laughs> this game has so many good moments. Concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Thanks, brother Arnie. Arnie. My grandpa's name. That'll be Black Rain GX trivia one day. Oh, 
key when you know how to chant like this? Good question. Why I I um <laughs> Enemies like those yak. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Each time you Mad TV stole that skit. If you don't know the Mad TV skit, uh, oh, what's the guy's name? The OS says, Look what I can do. Stewart. It's a fun one. I'd say YouTube it, but the definition on it is terrible. It was old box TV, 4x3 or whatever, and I don't look it up, but it's funny. Remember Hunter's advice? I'm a vegetarian. I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. I love that the yeti has like an active role through this game into the next. He comes up several times in this game, and he's in the third one a couple times as well. It's got Kurt. Cheers. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. Toy, I like guess he was again. all bark. Ro -ro. <laughs> anyway. I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. That's my move, so I move. Play some hockey. Honestly, this is harder than it looks sometimes. He <coughs> <coughs> versus the goalie, and luckily he can't score on me. Invest in me by the state of Nevada. I bless you. Thank you. I'll even choose that. Cheers. He ain't got nothing. Just getting close. Oh. 
That's damn near gold tending. But he's letting me in the net, you know? What can I do besides score him? Oh, I was getting cocky. Don't worry. This game of 1v1 ain't over yet. What happened to Crash? It crashed. It stopped working. I kept trying to turn it on to turn it back off, and... Neither neither one wanted to work, neither Crash 2 or 3. So I got through the first two levels of three, and then it froze and it wouldn't work. Turn it back off, turn it back on, and it didn't want to start at all. So I thought, well, I could uh, struggle with it. Dang, I know. Well, I'm gonna try to get them fixed this weekend. Apparently you can get them resurfaced. I didn't know this thing. Kayla knew this thing. Um, you take it to a used game store or a video store. Oh my god. Still scored. And they have resurfacing machines and they'll do it for, Zach was saying, like two bucks. I'm gonna try taking all these old games in and see if I can make them work. And hopefully I can do some crash next weekend. I might even, if they have it, try to pick up the first one. And do a couple crash games. One, two, three. Because I've never beat them. I've never even. Uh, I barely played them. So they're classics. Some of the best games, most popular games of this console. If I can, I got you. It was a bad pass. Equally bad. Nothing I can do. This is shenanigans. It was a long goal, it was a bad attempt. We didn't smack. 4 2 is a first to 5. I think that's a scam point. for my life right now. God bless America. Land of free. This is the most intense game of spiral hockey I've ever played. They're getting closer. You gotta play dirty. <laughs> Set him down right from the start. Oh. Try to eat that deflection and send it right back one to go one to go can't lose
There we go. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Touch the ice. Sorry, we gotta remember where all these statues are. This is one there. statues. So let's see how good my memory is. These are pretty small maps. One, two. Oh, didn't mean to do that. like ghastly the Pokemon. at least one statue around one of those corners. Okay, nor nine is ten either in the same spot or I don't know. Where's the last one? I don't think it's all the way back by hockey, but it might be. I also have trouble finding one. Here we go. 
the spear teeth on this guy. Well done, Spyro! You Jeez. scared the evil spirit away! Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Eh, they don't need it. Eh, they don't need it. And to Zach's point about people giving you this stuff and basically being like, here's some trash I had. Doing this? Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know that was called the dump jump. Um, but to your point, I find it funny that the people that know your task, that task you with getting all the gems and whatnot, still make you go through, like, bullshit tasks that they could do themselves easily. Um, maybe flaming statues, not, but... A lot of bullshit tasks in order to uh, give you the thing they tasked you with obtaining. If you son of a bitch, you told me to do this. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? You I suppose I could teach you. Held more. hostage my ability to leave and go home. So I could grab these things. You got some for me, and now. You're not gonna give it to me until I do another thing for you? What the fuck? <laughs> and there's some green, green beer. Blue beer. Gray beer. And now red beer. You can only get this ever changing color beer at a uh, limited time right now from Bush. Bush Latte. I'm not gonna lie, I did try to reach out to uh, Bush Lights marketing team, see if they'd sponsor me. Hasn't happened yet. Can you imagine? Have Bush Light up on the corner. Spiral. Everyone's favorite bush light streamer. Think about it, I'd be on the cover of Bush magazine. I don't know that they have a magazine. The bush guy, the spokesperson, the flannel guy, could come stream with me. Go play games. Send me like a pallet of bush for free. That's the main thing. I've been locking. Uh, I've been locking you with all our tools and the giant idol heads. Won't let the workers in unless we can solve three puzzles. Blame Gavros. That's what his voice sounded like, so I skipped it. Jump on the blocks to change their color to yellow. Change their color to yellow. I'm just trying to look at the puzzle. You just see the four corners. Super simple. Wow, Spyro, you did it. Wow. I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Deal. He's hungry, we gotta feed him fish. The red fish makes him food. I think. Blue and orange, good. Point is not to choke and accidentally give him a red. Here comes a red. Double red. Snow these things. The triple red, they're throwing it all at me. Oh, the quad red. The quintuple red. 
Six reds. You think I'm gonna mess up, Mr. Idol? Seven reds? This is taking all day. I came super close to sending that red through. It sets you back like three or four fish. Like this. I just wanted to show you an example. Three fish. And not every time that you do this is it an astronomical amount of reds. That's all there is in this pond. Red fish. I'm convinced there's an exactly perfect amount of ten fish. Just kidding, I just saw a bunch of blue and oranges in the bottom left corner. Blue, orange, blue orange, blue, close enough. Any Chicago bear color. shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. That's good. I was wondering how I'd defeat them. How are you doing? Appreciate you. Cheers. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Welcome. Hey, leave my friend alone. Who's my new friend? Friends now. Love these games going up. Me too. Me too. I'm honestly surprised they still work. Right. Press the L2 or R2 button. You know, got the actual old school PS1 to work. Got the old game here. It's all original, and I am super shocked because this is this one came out in '99, so this is uh, 23 years old. <laughs> super shocking. Dear the Dragon's your favorite? Oh, I love Dear nice the Dragon. Job, I had um, Dear of the Dragon on a jam pack demo. And I played that for a long time before I got it. And it was the um, snowy mountain place with like the uh, ski lift and the little bird guys. 
So every time I play that level, it's like super nostalgic to me because I played that level so many times waiting to actually get the real one. Uh, it's so hard for me to say which is my favorite. I love them all so much. I like the first because that's the first one I had, so it's probably the most nostalgic for me. Two is so good because it has really introduced stories. A little story, even though it's not a lot, but something to each level. And then Year of the Dragon, so good. It was a decently long game. It had all the side characters. I think for just what it had, Year of the Dragon was probably the best. Also, like, all the characters from each world would come and help you assemble the balloon, the rocket. And what else was there? The whirly gig thing. Um, all that. So you would get help from everybody. And when you went against the bosses, it was you and the side character that uh, you freed from money bags. Also, the revenge on money bags is in that game, and that is super sweet. Probably the best moment in all of these games is when you get to take out all the revenge and get all the gems from two games back from money bags. It's a lot of gems. You don't realize how much he takes from you until you you're getting them all back. And in Year of the Dragon, he takes a lot. I do have Year of the Dragon. Just over there. I wonder if it works. I bet you it does. If I somehow had Spiral 1 working, Spiral 2 working, Year of the Dragon is almost guaranteed to be working. That one, that one came out in 2000, I believe. Dang, I am screwing up these hovers. Do you play the Reignited Trilogy, Brittany? Do you like it? God, I'm gonna drink for every one of these fall offs. Cheers. I looked down at the chat right before I made that jump, I almost fell right off again. Which would have been decently hilarious. But also, I might have been a slightly upset. Okay, I screwed up. I gotta get rid of these gems. They're a distraction. I can't have it. Ooga, ooga! Ooga, ooga! I don't remember him yelling that, but I don't think I've ever got up next to him before just cleaning this clock. I think they come back at a weird rate, so I'm gonna have to wait till it's a zero. So that's that second one. I'm having some trouble. The third one gets me every time. <laughs> like a handicap at this point. Maybe it does handicap you. One of my favorite songs, the old rain dance with a little bit of light. Look at that. The hula girls rain dance <laughs> the up hula the girls. with a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that <laughs> like dancing Roman career I've dreamed of. They had such a good, um, 
whoever the writer was for the lines, they were super good. They were super funny. Either ahead of their time or they created uh, a lot of humor that us um, 90s kids have. No aliens fire team. No, 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 no. I mean, I have it downloaded. I just know right now without having to play it that there will be no more game less popular than aliens fire team. <laughs> that it's best co-op. Someone else was in here saying that. Uh, excuse me, it's kind of hard without co-op. But, you know, I went through all the work of refurbishing my PS1, so... I had to use three-man squad game. Okay, okay. Do you and um, Bennett have it? Well, I guess if you guys are on Xbox, of course you do, because it's Game Pass. I think I heard Sniper Elite 5. Not that I've ever been super big into those games. I think I played the second or third one all the way through. Whichever one where you get like an alternate history look at Sniping Hitler. Hitler comes off a train or something, you can snipe him. Um, that's about the only one I ever played on uh, maybe 360. That's the one where you shoot the bullet and it slows down and it shows the bullet slowly going to hit the person and then it does an x-ray of it going through their bones and mangling their body as it splits and goes up. It's crazy. You have it in cell but you don't offend us? Uh, I don't know, maybe someday. Sniper League games are fun. I'm not going to lie. I do like them. They did a Zombies game that I did four-player co-op that was hella fun. I enjoyed the shit out of that. Um, but we're doing these until... Check your oh my god, Alora, stop talking to me. Jeez, can't you see I'm busy? Um... <laughs> until the ninth when the quarry comes out you don't know if it's like a basically a movie horror game um, you play as 10 characters and something with a quarry some horror thing goes on and you make the decisions of the characters in it um, so if they die it's because of you and you're not and they're yelling at the TV going, oh my god, why would you do that? That's so stupid. So that looks hella fun. Um, I've always been a big fan of those games, so I'm going to do that. Those usually only take a day or two. And then after that, since we got to our stars goal, we did get a VR headset. Um, so we're going to try some VR games. 
But now, anyone who uh, donates stars can throw some suggestions in there as to what games we should get, and I will only pick games through the suggested list. Maybe even post uh, trailers of each, and then pull people on which one we should play. I don't know, it might be something crazy like that. Yeah, I'm pulling people on which uh, classic PS1 games we should play, and it's awesome. Zombie Army 4, Dead War, Zombie Army Trilogy. 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 Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 lately. Ooh. I don't think I ever played that one. Is that one pretty good? I saw something. Mike, thank you for the like, buddy. I was about to say, how are you? But we've been talking this whole time. <laughs> Force of habit. Your game Cheers, camera thank you very much. is currently. In I like how they ask if you want to change your game camera. Kind of super late. Sam, hell yeah, thanks for the like. Did you ever play Zombie Army Trilogy, Mike? <clears throat> Sam, also, thanks for that share. Cheers. Oh, God. Activated this special portal. You won't find a talisman in the ocean speed. Whatever you think happens. But if you're fast, you'll exactly get lots happens. of treasure. Have fun. Alright. Throw that down there. Oh no, not another one. Dang it, Sam. I go to cheers you. And these these damn hands. Worry, don't worry. We will be continuing the stream after this crisis has been averted. Feel free to throw in all the laughing emojis you can possibly type. Damn it, my controller. Why is it always one thing to the next? <laughs> this headset's about to be a problem. still there? <laughs> so we had a minor spill. Like the most minor... It was no worse than the big oil spill in the Gulf Coast. Um, so yeah. It only went one all over my monitor uh, stand. You know what? Fuck this stand. We don't want it anyway. So, uh, I'll cleaned up. Almost spilled that again. Dropped my controller. Where is it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> We're good to go. And now uh, the controller's bugged. And it's back. I like it. It's like a mix between Sniper Elite and Far Cry. Oh, nice, nice. I do like Far Cry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was going to throw in as much as they can, but then I saw that. <laughs> hell yeah, Mike. I'll throw up a cheers to that. What the hell? My shares don't show. Um, You might have to do some more shares. I, I, that might be the only solution. I, I don't know. It seems like the more you share, maybe, maybe we'll see more results. Cheers. <laughs> But thank you for the shares. <laughs> you asked for it, I sure did. I regret nothing. 
Ryan, you accidentally ran off the edge. No! You share every night, and it never shows? Really? Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, I don't know why it doesn't show. I know, um... Uncanny Luck usually only shows up for a quick second or so um, these days, but he said he would share every night and it doesn't show up, and I don't know why. Say, Spyro, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I bet you're dying to know Play what's me? on the other side. I, 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 only I, I, I had a few more gems, that's it. I might that's it. I'm going right to the wall. Um, Facebook IT, and you know what they're going to tell me? Hmm. I've gone to Facebook IT like three times, and every time they say, can you please provide me a screenshot in order for me to help you? And I'll say, how am I supposed to provide you a screenshot of somebody telling me that they shared, but it doesn't come up? What do you want me to screenshot? I can just show you a plain image, and they basically just repeat themselves until you show me a screenshot. I can't do anything, sir. And I'm like, all right. We're getting nowhere. So, I got mad once at Facebook IT, and I said, look, sir, I don't know how to tell you that there's three people chatting here, and it tells me there's zero viewers. There's no timestamps. I guess there kind of is over here, but there isn't over here. I have two different things. I have a stream program and Facebook. But it doesn't really prove, because people can come in and out at any second, that they didn't chat it one minute and then they were gone the next. So they could always use that and say, ah, oh, well, they were just gone. So I'm like, there, there's literally, oops, don't do that. No possibility of me being able to prove this. We've always had so eventually I worked it out. Finders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. But the guy if told you me find diodes, you can that use them they, to turn off the, the Facebook fields. IT department, doesn't even do anything. They don't fix anything themselves. It's a little known. All they do is take the screenshots and the report and send it to engineers in a different department. Oh god, I got a good spit. So they're a glorified customer service line that can't do anything. So I could go to them, but it would just be bonkers. Um, how much time would be wasted. I get mad. There's nothing I can do. Like, uh. They recently did a new interface in the background for when you're streaming. It's probably a good month or so ago. And it looks way nicer. It's way nicer. They fixed a lot of things. Put back in a lot of things that. It was missing. That they used to have. That were big conveniences. And, uh. Now, every single time I try to type something, so like when I do the trivia, almost every couple words I type, it says, uh, query error, query error, query error. And, uh, I can't do anything. Ryan? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, wait, Ryan. You spent your rooms five points of vigor and five in arcade. Nice, nice. You gotta do something. Mike? You're the fucking man. 530 stars? Hell yeah. Cheers. Let me just say, that's a good fix. That's a hell of a fix. Um, let me ask you, Mike. I kind of forget this sometimes. Because I get knee-deep in the game. But I've been talking about it a lot more, which helps me remember. Um... So the star's goal currently, uh, our last one was to get a uh, Oculus Rift headset so we could play some VR games. Um, current goal is for getting some games on there, but I'm letting you guys decide what those games are going to be. So if you know of any VR games you want to see me play. Let me know. I'll uh, add it to your list. 
And we'll decide from the list based on all the Star of Senders at the end. If you don't know, that's fine too. I feel like the most common answer is I don't know. I've pretty much heard... Well, I'd say I want to do Hitman 3. I've heard other people say, I don't know, the Rick and Morty game. Uh, sounds fun. I do want to play that as well. The only VR game we played was on PS4. Which game was that? If you don't mind me asking. I don't know what he says, but that's his voice. He's got this hilariously whiny tune. Gungrave? I haven't heard of that one. So you have PS4 VR? Ryan, you figured it ended up losing them? <laughs> if I didn't, <laughs> with your bad luck, that's true. That's what I was saying. You know what? It's not even having bad luck. It's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> what system am I on? Uh, I'm going to be on Oculus. Um, so that's Facebook's, but, 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 the big but here is, I don't know exactly how it works. I really have no clue with VR. It, I'm so new to it. I've only just gotten it. Um, I know there's Steam VR. Right? You can play Steam games on a VR headset. Somehow. games than just whatever's on Oculus's Play Store, which I don't think is too big. It's an older PS2 game. Ooh. You're playing to Ryan. Or which one? Oh, Ryan, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I don't really see that. It's not like super big print and obvious or anything. excited for. I'm straight going to spend my money on this. It's going to be one of the first games we play on stream. And then from there, whatever you guys really want me to play is pretty much what's going to happen. Um, and that's another PS2 game. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is happening. It's on Oculus Rift 2 only, and that's why I'm getting that. Hey. 
Xbox I can help him get wounds. Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our Ryan, your PlayStation, aren't you? Take it as a reward. Or am I thinking of William? Sorry. I usually forget who's where. Resident Evil are fun games. I gotta get all the achievements on Xbox One version of Resident Evil 5. I don't know if I've ever gotten all the achievements on any of them. And almost on purpose. I have so little to play for, I feel, like, empty when I have no achievements left on a game. Like, when I play Spyro Reignited Trilogy, I got them all away from the start. And I just feel empty playing them sometimes, even though I just love them. So it's pure nostalgia, but like most of the Resident Evil games, I have some absurd achievement that I can slowly work towards. Resident Evil uh, 4 on Oculus looks insane. If you have not seen any gameplay, look it up. So you have your pistol on your holster on your side, and you're just you're just grabbing them as you go. Um, you have shotgun, rifle, TMP, whatever over your back. Uh, on the other side, you have your first aid spray, and you get it. And you just press it and spray yourself. However. Um, ammo pouch Thank on the left, Spyro. so the left, left, top, top, grenade on your chest, grenade on your chest here, right. knife here, Please. I think it's, Take I can't it remember. I watched videos mm -hmm. of it recently, and it looks so fun. Just how much control you have in those Yo, games um, is just game-breaking in itself, you know? You can do so much more than you ever could before. PlayStation Switch. Okay. I thought so. Try it. That's true. You can try it. I don't know why it's not crossplay. I don't know why every game's not crossplay at this point. Like, the consoles, PlayStation finally caved and started to allow it. Xbox is pushing for it the whole time. I see no reason for it to not be just the norm. I have 72 games to sell right now I've been bouncing around with. Nice. Bouncing around between 72. I was about to check like I'm on Xbox and see how many I have. I've probably got a cool 100 something. And I've really eliminated a lot, because I had a lot on there. It was like, for a while, just have as much as I possibly could have on my hard drive. And then eventually it was like, all right, how about we just do what I actually play, either multiplayer or not. And there's a lot on there that I won't play that I just have. Okay, I can't hold this any longer. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Literally no longer. Be right back.
All right, everybody. I'm back. Let's -a go. Sadie Parker? What the hell are you doing? Thank you for the hundred stars. Cheers, cheers. I'll pose the same question to you. Dang shirt and all this green on it. Wipe it off. I don't know kind of works. Um, is that dead Mike? Um, if we reach our stars goal see that big to get a VR there? headset, the gear riders are using it to steal our electricity. Soon after Please the next game, I'm waiting for it to come out. Inside. We'll be doing some classics until then. Um, but I believe it is next Thursday this game comes out. So next three streams will be PlayStation Classics. Then after that, we'll be doing the core. A story based horror game where you play as 10 different characters trying to get them all or some through the story. Um, but then after that, we're going to be trying some VR games. All the star donators, if you want, you can suggest a VR game you've seen that you want me to play. Um, and I will put it on a list, take them all under consideration, may even vote. Um, on which ones we should go. Maybe it's whoever gave the most stars or something. We'll see. Um, that will decide which VR games we're going to play. After one, there's one I want to play, and that's Resident Evil. But, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I do appreciate you. In fact, here's another cheers. Good to see you back, by the way. Love having you here. Zach, you like the song from this level? Um, it's your alarm clock sound? What? Byro, you That's awesome. There's a lot of these soundtracks that are just kind of like, they're real smooth, good behind the scenes. The next glide can... Gonna have to hover. Gonna have to hover. C D. What's going on? I'm gonna wait for these to pop up. But I see you. I see you. <laughs> Zach, a lot of bangers. Couldn't agree more. Oh God, I can't see. <laughs> I'm watching the stream instead of the actual screen that it's on for some reason. Does it stretch out to all hell? So when that came up, I couldn't see the, the, the uh, spinny spins. Say thank you for the other 200 stars. That's 300 now. Woo! Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you very much. That one was my fault. Clearly mine. Zach, a lot of bangers. I couldn't agree more. God. They're good, smooth songs, and it's like... I'm gonna drink for every fuck up here. Cheers. That's what I do when it happens one too many times. It starts becoming a drinking game. It motivates me to stop failing. Cheers. Dork. I don't fail often, but when I do, it's that simple jumps and flights in spiral. I wonder how long the songs are. Oh, this is bad. In spiral games. Oh, there's a whirly gig here. Oh. That's a drink, and I know it. Cheers, everybody.
I'm uh, totally doing this on purpose because I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> I didn't know you could get the soundtracks for this. Son of a bitch! I mean, um. Son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Cheers. This beer is gonna go down real fast. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I do that all along? Guess what? I'm thinking that too. What the hell? Why did I just do that so sweet? Ooh, bonus life. Might be another cheers, I don't know. 400. Final help! The switch to turn off the gear is in that room, but um, it's awfully noisy in there. <laughs> I'd go do it, but I can't stand the sound. You have to walk like six feet. I could lay down in from head to toe is how far you have to walk. You can have it if you want. There you go, Zach. Every time it sounds like it's complete trash to them, should it be a drink? <laughs> like every time they're like. I just found this complete piece of garbage. Here you go. I like how start to finish this game goes from um, guys getting bullied to them bullying the bullies by the end. There's always like a revenge plot in each world you go to. I guess to some degree, to some degree. The one we're about to do, there's not really. Is escorting the baby turtles from one end to the other. Then there's the duck that wants to make turtle soup. Until he gets no turtles, and he's like, ah, oh, you got me. Hope you never leave. Oh, you're gone. Guess I can make my turtle soup now. I also love the noises that these things make. <laughs> Like, what, what, who is the sound guy for this? How fun of a job would that be? He probably got paid pretty well, too. Not gonna lie. He's excellent. Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles this over there guy's voice? safety, I'll be mighty grateful. That's hangover voice right there. Like, you have not had actual water in probably 20 hours. Hey, Spyro! <laughs> He's trying to just breathe. I forgot how good this, uh, easy this game was in the Reignited Trilogy. After you've beaten it one time, if you ever want to beat it again, you start off with the uh, Seamer Breath right away. And you can just cheese all the shit. So how's everyone doing tonight? See what's new, what's happening, what's going on? Zach, what are you up to? Ryan, you still grinding or are you moving through the game? William, did you fall asleep? Kayla? What's going on? Sam? How are you doing? Sam's a good guy. Comes in. 
Drafts his life, drafts his shares, but he doesn't say it like that. We gotta get Sam in here more. Sam's been coming here for a long time. Playing some. Ooh! Halo Infinite to see what season two's about. What? How is that? Because I saw the trailers. And actually, um. Depending on. Oh, you son of a bitch. When, um. He came in the stream, which I know, Zach, you just got here recently. But, uh. I did a lot of Halo Infinite on the stream for a while. But we had some good moments. I remember it was on Christmas when I was playing it last because I had uh, just started doing TikToks, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, all that fun stuff um, while playing Halo. That's That was the first game I did those on. And I remember uh, doing some Christmas music and one of those talks. It was funny. Ryan, you went up to the Bell Bearing Hunters? Which one? The Kaelin one? If so, how much do you hate your life right now? There's no level you can be at where that's a fun, fun fight. Guaranteed, you hate it. Sam, I... <laughs> Samuel says in, in the first person, Sam always says things at least once daily if he doesn't forget. Sure, Sam. Sam says. Sam says. Sam, if anything, you owe me a drink. I'm just playing Sam, but I get it. I'm just glad you stopped in. But, but, since you're here. How's it going? What's going on? What are you doing? What are you up to? Dang it. I got stuck and I couldn't line that shit up. Caitlyn 1, haven't done uh, Church of Vows. Caitlyn 1's the hardest one. I'll tell you right now. So if you're looking to struggle, you're in the right place. This doesn't look like Crash! Ouch! No, it doesn't look like Crash. And that's because both the Crash 2 I have and the Crash 3 that uh, my girlfriend had um, only worked for about 5 to 10 minutes before they. Yep. Pun incoming. No, 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 no. They crashed. Get it? <laughs> it kind of sucks because I really wanted to play those. But they both crashed. And then would not come back online. So I really, really, really wanted to play them. But they would not work. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, um, I've been talking about it ever since J uh, Zach told me about it. That there's such a thing as resurfacing machines that I did not know about prior to this in my life. I'm looking about how to do it myself. Um, I'm hoping to resurface both of these. And maybe I'm going to like some old used game stores. Maybe if we're lucky, we can find the original Crash, a working copy. And. That's what happens. I can play all three. But I can't do either one or two right now. They both crashed on me. Halo is still basically the same. Is there any new modes or anything, Zach? Like, any new guns? Any new weapons? Any new abilities? Any new vehicles? Like, is there something? Thank you, any balancing changes? The baby turtles, Is there any weapons that became okay. suddenly way Please better take or weaker? This talisman or? As a token of our hey, you've noticed. Sam, ouch. It's what won the votes and is in the title. I changed the title on Facebook side 
but it doesn't always actually fix things. Unfortunately. Um, so I apologize. It is absolutely what I meant to play, and if you watch the stream once it's over from the beginning, you will see fucking camera angles. Uh, <laughs> you will see that I tried playing two and three and played just a smidge of both, but couldn't go beyond that. I tried, um, you know, I really did. I really did. Um, tried the first one, got through the cutscene to start the game. Um, after that, in a second, Cortez's Revenge to not continue to work. Um, the third one worked a little bit longer. But after the third level, it throws up real bad. Said it about six times and nothing happened. So unfortunately, I did all I could do. Wish it would have worked. Unfortunately, here's what you gotta realize: is we're dealing with super old technology, so it doesn't doesn't always work. Unfortunately, every game here is 20 years old, and this console is 24 years old. I'm amazed that the fucking, pardon my French, laser works. Impressive. I thought I was gonna have to buy a new one and replace Impressive. it. And guess Please what? For every uh, version of the console, they're like an SC 10, 70, 50. Um, that tells the year they came out with. And actually, I found out mine is significantly weaker than a lot of them that they took out a lot of the technology that made PlayStation so good for mine. And yet, everything works as far as I can tell. Super good. It just turned out it was stronger than it ever needed to be. You know, early consoles were hella strong um, compared to what the games that were out at the time were able to do for them. Um, was it PlayStation or something else? People were using like computers for a long time. I know the printer on Game Boy was crazy. Uh, Game Boy was crazy because of all the stuff you could put on it. And it was a small little chunky to compared to today's cell phones and whatnot. A small little uh, computer was crazy. Zach, two, uh, two new maps. I think there is a last Spartan standing mode. I haven't tried it yet, though. It's Battle Royale. I, heard. I think I heard about that. It was like a version of a Battle Royale. It's not exactly that from what I was reading. I never tried it, but I read about it. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, interesting. I've, I want to try it. It's like a free-for-all, but you don't come back.
first try, number one. And 2046. And there's always one more hidden one. Worth. I guess now you think you're pretty good. Well, I guess now you you're think you're pretty good. Why, yes. Be of course champion. Who is it? Hunter. not Queen Finny. I just don't know his path. That always sucked because he had this predetermined path that he had some wonky turns he would take. However, if you just know the path he's going to take and two or three tries to do that. Closer you are to him, the harder it is because you don't know exactly his movements. Oh, oh, fuck me. Jeez. It's not as easy as you thought, is it? What do you think of the new maps, Zach? Also, question they are fixing big team. as easy as you thought, is it? Are you ready to try again? Because when the game first came out, Big Team worked great. But then, um... Shortly after, it would never start a game. You would sit there and load and load and load. And then after a while, it would eventually put you in a game, but it'd be 2v2 in a Big Team map. really irritating because Big Team was probably the most entertaining thing uh, they had. Ranked, I mean, sure, if there's the more serious players ranked, but Big Team just had a lot of fun, funny moments. Damn, this sucks. It's not as easy as you thought, is it? Cheers. Are you Last part standing is pretty cool. Supposedly it's fixed. Oh, that's good. I never looked up if it was acknowledged that it was not working, but it didn't work for me for weeks, maybe months. I wasn't trying it's to run. I kept pressing X and he kept running. The camera angles. Okay, if I uh, lose again, I have to go get another, another drink, I think. I don't know. I might drink water. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe if I'm motivated to drink more beer, but... Otherwise, I might drink water. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Paul Melendez. Thank you very much for the like, buddy. Appreciate you. How are you doing? Good to see you popping in a lot. Appreciate it. Finally. Oh, no, 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 
please. I lost him. It's not as easy as we thought, is it? Right. Are you ready to try again? We'll drink some water. If I hear enough uproar, I'll go back to beer. Cheers. All right, Spyro. Glad he got those before I got there. Because that was real tight. Quite like a toy gun. from him is in the autumn area or whatever where there's all the robbers and he shoots the bank robbers and you have to catch their money bags that is the one I hate the most it's either that or the manta ray rings I hate the manta ray rings as well he suck Great job, Spyro. Tyson's that toy gore excellent flying. Uh, reminds me of this Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Anyone ever play that? They recently remade it. Um, for Xbox, PlayStation, and uh, Switch. It was originally a PS2 game. I don't know if it was also on Xbox, but it was definitely on PS2. And it was a fantastic game. You're an Australian um, Tasmanian Tiger. And yeah, they collect orbs and what else? All kinds of crazy stuff. But it was a really fun game. It was a good game. It was kind of like a, a, a spiral. Or Ratchet and Clank or whatever. And you used boomerangs and you had all different types of boomerangs. Super fun. I did stream it a while back. Uh, if you've never seen it, check it out on my YouTube. Uh, I have it in a playlist. I put all the games in a playlist so it's easy to find. You don't have to search through them. All my episodes, you just look through the playlist. The funny? The funny looking guys. Just got done with the abandoned cave of Caleb. Rot Knights suck. Any idea how much of a rune increase the gold scarab gives you? 5%, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's only 5%. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I didn't think the Rot Knight was too bad. I just thought the amount of, like, rot or poison river that you have to walk through kind of sucked. But I also don't know a lot of locations by name. So I can't really say too much.
got him, got him. He was getting real, uh... Pisky. I suppose. Just got done with the camera. Oh, sorry. I already read that. Last part in Stan is quite addictive, actually. Ooh. You know, honestly, if I wasn't playing this, I was trying to figure out what to play. Um, and just... You know, being that I just moved... Um... About a month ago... I got to see all my old consoles. I... I didn't have running in... I knew I didn't have my PS1 running. I saved it because I was like, oh, maybe the shell will be worth something someday. And I'm like, I think I can fix this. And I did, and it was amazing. Um, I have an original PS2 that, from what I've read, it doesn't play certain discs. So if you ever played a PS2, there was uh, two types of discs, and PS1 is a different. So PS1, all the discs were black on the back. Um... Then there was uh, two types of PS2 discs, a CD-ROM, which was blue, and a DVD-ROM, which was silver. So the different discs had those. Um, my original PS2 would only play the blue discs, the DVD-ROMs, it would not play PS1 games or the silver discs. Um, I read something to do with the silver discs they moved away from them because it was too easy to pirate the games or something. I don't know. But, uh... It couldn't read it. So I eventually got a Slim, which now plays games, but if you guys have ever been here when I played uh, my PS2 on stream... Our world. And you may have seen... Uh, I have a picture on my page of my PS2 Slim with a Ganesha statue on it. Um, so my dad used to work all over the world, so I got little artifacts from all over the world. So a statue of Ganesh, which is an Indian elephant god with like four arms, two legs, so like a spider elephant. Um, it's pretty heavy. It's something I got. I, I just saw it nearby my PSG one day, put it on there. And suddenly the pressure on the disk drive is all it needed to work. Fuck me, I guess. And, uh... I figured, maybe if I replace that disk drive, I can get my original Xbox to work too. Or PS2. So I might work on that. I think I have to replace the laser. So I'm gonna work on that and see if I can get that one up and going because I thought that would just be cool as shit. Fuck me. Was definitely wondering where you got the Serpent Bow at? That is a good question. Um, I'm gonna quote Hercules and the little pink demon guy. I do not know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure where I got it, to be honest. It was somewhere in Caleb, I thought. Well, good to see that it's definitely more than uh, a one game factor, Zach. Because there's a lot of games you play once and you're like, ah, fuck that. That game sucks. <laughs> I'm glad to see that sounds like it's fun. I might have to do more. Manuel Orlando. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? Thank you very much for the like. Appreciate you. What's good? What's going on? You know, I just realized I don't think I've legitimately saved this once. I've been surviving off checkpoint autosaves, which do not exist on PS2. But I need to figure it out. Very 15 to 7, 422 roofs from the abandoned cave I came from. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, I legitimately had no idea. Um, I just do things in that game. But how? I don't know. Because Elden Ring was such a big game. It was just so much stuff. And most of the caves, the ruins, the dungeons, they all felt so the same that nothing was significant. Most of them I couldn't remember because it was just too much to remember. Wait, I thought that opens up. I'm quite confused. Oh, here it is. King, I'm busy. Oh, here's one of those manta ray missions I hate so much. Also, this level is just a pain in the ass to actually get all the gems on. Ryan, you intend on using that serpent bow quite a bit? It says it turns arrows into poison arrows, but like, in my experience, that didn't really happen. feels like a lot. every wise individual does. I'm going to get rid of all these and I'm going to come back and look at the BRB.
And we're back. Okay. Let's get ready to lose a bajillion of these. I've been trying. I'll take a drink for your last beer because I already prefaced that I hate right. tomato missions. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. Okay, and man, kind of films were kind of the same. New, so All the same layout. They used a lot of the same assets. Up. I used the urchin ball like crazy though. Once I got that, I thought that was pretty good. Great bows are probably better. It's just how quickly you ran out of arrows. Slightly concerned me. But at the same time, they probably did enough damage to make up for the lack of arrows. Well, and if you have the diversity of arrows, it's even better off. Cheers. Sea green. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get... Love to get him in racing shape. Something, again, I cannot do on my own, but I'll pay you one thing that I've asked you to get for me. He literally is a juke artist, too. You see that? He started to go right, and then he cuts left. Incredible. Can't believe I did those both in one try. Cheers. Again, how was everybody doing? Cheers. Mike. Um... How's the game you're playing? How far are you into it? Zach, have you won one of those yet? And hidden them in the tops Ryan, of these numbered towers. what are you I on to now? Some have you beaten all of Caitlyn yet? Or are you just kind of going back if and doing some of the extra stuff? Sam, why are you never here long enough for a full-on conversation? Just kidding, Sam. I get it. You got shit going on. It's got to give people shit. When in doubt, power your way through. <laughs> kind of going back and doing some extra stuff. Wait till later to fight the rod dragon. The Rat Dragon's really not hard. I beat him in like my first or second try when I got there. And you've been to the snow fields. That Rat Dragon should be your bitch by now. Just get under his legs. Just stay under his legs and chop away at his ankles. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. Watch my video of how I did it. I don't remember which stream it was. Whoa! We got ourselves a our resident Australian buddy. Michael Payne, how you doing, buddy? How was me? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. <clears throat> you know, I was just talking about this earlier. Um, I don't know if this is popular there because it was a little more home country, maybe not. Um, in the PS2 days, did you ever play a game called Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? Was that ever a thing for you? You mean Taz? No, 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 it was most certainly Ty. Are you just doing this thing that you do every day where you try to correct me and then I'm still right? Yeah, 
Tyler tells me and take it home. This. You know, use boomerangs and stuff? Ty? Ty the Tasmanian? You made me do it. He is Space Jam? What are you talking about? Oh, Taz. I get you, I get you, I get you. We're on different wavelengths. <laughs> and I just realized that now. I did not realize you were talking about looting tubes, but also, I mean, yeah. Holy shit, now that you say that, they're extremely close. At least in name, not in looks. Heard of it, never played it. Um, super fun game. Australia based. Oh. And I'm dead. Fuck nuggets. Can't believe I just did that. Shit. Just one second. Michael, uh, also as well, thank you for the like. I thought I saw that the reactions went up, but uh, you know, if it's not the thumbs up, it doesn't show up for some reason. So, cheers, thank you very much. I had to acknowledge you if you did. Start this whole thing. No? Okay. Oh man. They remastered that game, by the way, Michael. I would highly recommend. Highly, 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 highly recommend. Um, remastered it on every console. Got the old boomerangs um, and all your local wildlife, a bunch of scenery. It's a pretty cool game. You uh, ever throw a boomerang? I have one. I have one around somewhere. I don't know where it's at. It's not made in Australia though. It was made in Mexico. If that uh, dampens the authenticity of it. I think as a kid I threw it. My dad brought it back when he worked um, around the world. Gave it to my grandparents. I bought it from my grandparents. Um, I think as a kid I tried to throw it. I think they let me for some reason. It did not come back. I don't know how those things work. They are not as advertised, or it's just not as easy as it looks in the movies. Okay, this is really hard to do because it moves faster than you. You did it. Slower than now you, we can swim in these. Than I heard that swimming. you were collecting these orbs. That's not right. It's literally slower than your slowest movement. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And on to the first boss. <laughs> Isn't this literally stolen from Jaws 2? Have you ever seen Jaws 2? Um... A kid swims around with a fin on his back, trying to scare people like he's a shark, and like an actual shark comes up. I, I could be slightly wrong, but I'm, I'm well done, Spyro. Pretty positive. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open.
Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck. What are you doing? Getting what? You got it? It's in that drawer, top left. Find it? Okay. Yep. Okay. You're gonna threaten me, threaten me on camera. I've seen the horror movies that think can do damage. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. Super there. portal. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? Maybe you could have used all those orbs to grow some legs. Literally a torso and feet. Wobble, 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 wobble. Look, like a penguin. Get off me! Get off me, you useless baboons! Why can't either of um, you? If you didn't know, Ripto actually comes back, and I think the fourth game the first one on ps2 hmm. no dragons the fifth Wonderful. one was a completely new enemy and it was basically the sort of skylanders i can pack my bags we're moving in say hello to, to my little friend king. pulls out a machine gun shut it down starts Hurry. mowing down everyone oh my oh my i can't see the switch i think i've broken my glasses crush go through the portal you idiot to all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly! No! Go! Crush! Get the orbs now! No! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is the straight up, I'll news kill you. It's so dark. There were so many dark things Why in these games. chase him? Game one, uh, guns with actual yeah, bullets I, shooting uh, you, which would never happen today. Him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a What's dragon? Funny is that fairy yes. being strong yes, enough to I carry a so. giant we'll heavy need a metal world that has an alignment much orb. better suited to intercepting um, one of these creatures with a giant about. little Clever. man on it. Good idea. Not we better go right idea. now. Pretty big little man, bigger than the orb on it. Super funny. She's urban. Alright, someone put something in the chat. What's going on?
Came in with the green, left with the green. Oh shit, he's still alive. Based on your emotion as you Bring it on, shorty. I'm feeling gray. I'm feeling yellow. Don't come here now. I can't reach all the way out there. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. Do that. What's up? The roof. Go get me out of here. So long, dragon. Now I'm feeling purple. Damn it, doesn't work. Brown? What a wuss. Definitely purple. It's fun as having green things you can play with the green screen with. That Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that, and that. Move. Ah! Why are you, you? Ah! <laughs> So I think I need a thousand for that ladder. I've already got it, so I can grab that right away, go back, and finish all of the first worlds. We'll come back to Autumn Plains, and um, I should be able to finish this home world. So maybe we can finish this before we leave. Wondering if after all this time, William Harris fell asleep. Legend Did um, Ryan fall asleep? I'm wondering. We we lost a few people here. I'm here, man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It gets silent and I start to wonder. The Razor Kaios on the $89 in Australia. Oh, your dollars are smaller than ours? Jealous. I don't know what I paid. I think I paid less than that. 
Maybe not? I don't remember. It's been years. I've had mine for years. You think you want it? I had a cheaper one for a few months and then it froze and the images would be messed up, so... I looked at some and this came out to be one of the best ones. I saw some other, like, big time streamers, like streamers who are bigger than I'll ever be, probably, not for lack of trying. Um, but, you know, I'm not a hot girl in a hot tub. Not that I was watching those. But, <laughs> I'm just saying, you can never beat those. Um, but yeah, uh, I saw some bigger streamers on the like 4-3 cams. I think I like the wide screens better. Than the 4-3, so I've thought about moving away from this one, but this oh, one has been super good. The, the lighting on it I thought was huge, and I really like that, I think some but it's also like blinding. Like, here's what it was like. A good of orbs there. I guess it only is slightly additionally bright now that I have the proper lighting in the room for the green screen, but I thought it would help a lot more than it does. Honestly, the light on it is not a factor. Not a factor at all. You know, if you're thinking that the Razor Kaio is good or good looking because of the fact that it comes in the light, think again. Hi, Spyro. That's all I gotta say. It's don't don't account the light into it like I did. Watching and playing at the same time, which <laughs> which is challenging. That's fair. I understand that. I get that. I hear you. Normally $189. I could let you. I'm off. Have a good day. Oh no. Michael, no. Alright. That's fair. I understand, buddy. Yo, good day. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you coming in. Thanks for dropping the like, chatting with us. As you always do. You're a good man. Um, I hope you have one hell of a good day. And a good Friday. I'm slightly jealous because. I still have to go through my Friday. Not jealous when it's Sunday, though, and you have to go through your Monday. I would love to. It's a bargain. Michael, I'm almost done. You stay till the end. You probably gotta go to work, though. Remember, Michael, if you got a camera that works right now, use that thing for a while before you start spending an exorbitant amount of money on tech and stuff on these streams. Make sure it's going well, make sure you're emotionally you're good with where you're at and what's happening. Um, don't, get, uh, don't get too crazy because a lot of people think that they're going to just blow up instantly and that's not what happens. Things aren't going your way, you can't, you're not into it, and um, you want to quit, it would suck to have wasted all that money. Because I know a lot of people who have started, that I've helped out, get their feet wet in it, you know, and then I've quit. Me personally, I, if I was one of those, I would have been pretty upset to spend too much money on really good tech. You could always sell it. For slightly less, but you're still at a loss. When what you have is a camera that works. If you have a camera that works, you don't need another camera. It 
it's tempting to always want to have the best, but to be honest, people can't tell the difference. I can. Can I use the damn stuff? I'm out, dude. Have a good night. I'll have to go take care of some cleaning. Alrighty, no problem, man. Zach, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you, bud. You get that cleaning done. I did a lot of cleaning earlier today, but that's just how my schedule runs with this stuff. <sighs> On the new game, you can just teleport there. You can't just teleport here. Well, I will cheers to the two of you guys. Thank you, sailors, for hanging out. Appreciate you guys' time. Until next time, you guys have a good night. <clears throat> I gotta say, the worst one about the worst part about this turtle one is you literally have to step by step go through the ship just to get to the turtle guy. Well, not just the turtle guy. There's one more ladder. But... Cheers. I feel like I just have a harder time lining this up than I did on the Reignited Trilogy. Maybe not. The controls are good. They're simple. It's the camera that just fucks me. Gems left, I know exactly where they're at. Hello.
I'm still here somewhere. Ryan, I appreciate you. You're awesome. Glad to see you still here. It says zero, zero views, but your comment just came in a minute ago. Maybe you left. This is the first time I've saved, which is scary. But it's worked so well. All right. That'll be the end of the stream here. We started a little bit here. Ending here right at 9 o'clock. Like usual. Um, so, yeah, it's been a good stream. A hell of a good week. Um, we came out of the Lord on Monday, which is crazy. Absolutely love that. Um, we beat all of uh, Spiral 1, the original disc. Reliving all of that magic in two days. We've gotten through... Um, one of three home worlds here today in Spiral 2 and tried Crash. I mean, if it wasn't for Crash, we could have got a lot further, but um, it didn't work so well. So, hoping, let's turn that off, um, that we will be able to get some progress here in getting these discs resurfaced this weekend, maybe picking up some new PS1 games that I don't know if I'll play on stream or not, but I'm very excited. Um, to even just the possibility that some might be there. Um, some that I'm looking for are uh, Rugrats. I remember getting this game from the video rental store near me all the time. It was something Rugrats, something about Reptar, um, where you had all these little mini missions. And it, it was just super nostalgic to me. I had to collect cookies and chocolate milk. Um, there's like mini golf, and you had to sneak through a. Uh, grocery store at night with a giant reptile roaming around and actually scared the shit out of me when I was a little kid. Um, you had to go through these, a sewer maze riding the dog and a bunch of cool stuff. So I'm looking for that game. Hercules, which was a badass game. Uh, Wild Arms, which was a very fun game that I've just never beat. It was a really good JRPG. Uh, Bugs Bunny and Time, Zach mentioned it, was a great game. I played the demo of that a lot. Never beat it, so I really want to. Uh, Parasite Eve, I played probably 20 hours of it. It's another like three or four game disc. Um, on one of my jam packs, I had a trailer for it, and I watched it a bunch of times. It looked super interesting to me as a kid, even though it was a adult horror game. Um, so being that I got so far through it one time, because I borrowed it from somebody but never finished it, because they wanted it back. Uh, that's one I'm hoping to find to beat. Tarzan. Tarzan's a great game. Never beat it as well. Final Fantasy 7 or 8 because I never actually own those. So almost just collecting them would be great even though I have them on Xbox. Um, so I've got a little bit of a list of things that I'm looking for. Hopefully I'll find. Um, hopefully resurfacing these discs works. Um, otherwise, we'll see what happens. Ryan, you're actually an hour ahead of me. Toe Jam and Earl. I've never heard of that one. Never heard of that one. There's so many good classic PS1 games. It's like, there's so many that could have been absolute crap, but it's all we had when we were kids that we remember them as such good fun games. So I'm hoping, hoping that I find all the ones that I remember, either that from my own collection or the video rental store or a friend had. It's things that I played as a kid that I remember. I'm hoping to find... Um, a chunk of those and that they're at a decent price. If not, I'll just get what I can because I'm not willing to throw a bunch of money down the drain for classics, you know, when I can get them all for free. Uh, Comic Zone, never heard of that either. Uh, I'm sure it's great. I remember there was one where there was like a, you had a, like a zapper and you were like a Captain Cork looking guy. And I remember a bunch that I don't know what the names were for. So there's a lot to look out for. Um, so we'll see what I see. I see there's, um, in the big city near me, it's the, my state capital, they have like three uh, stores for these old games, two right next to each other, and then one that's right next to these other attractions that we want to go to. So um, very excited that I'm going to try them all out. It's going to be a great weekend. We're going to um, these video game, old video game stores for me. Uh, that's my big thing. That's the only thing I want check out the zoo a winery um an arcade where it's like 15 dollars and it's all you can play for old games um so it's gonna be a super fun weekend we're doing that saturday 
Friday going out to eat, Sunday having uh, some people over because hopefully our place is all freshened up and it's actually um, going to look good for guests for the first time because we'll have furniture and stuff. So it's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be a fun long weekend and then Monday just relaxing. Um, so yeah. So I don't know if we'll be on at all this weekend. Probably not the way it sounds. It sounds like it's going to be busy. Um, it's going to be crazy, but it's going to be fun. Probably be on Monday like usual since there's no actual plans for that, even though it's a holiday. Um, and we'll be doing PS1 games Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, the quarry comes out. So if I got to play it by myself, I'm playing it by myself. Um, but hopefully I have somebody to play it with because it's way more fun with other people. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And then after that game is done, I'm going to try VR stuff, but I'm going to need time. Um, which I'll have that weekend. I don't know what's going on that weekend. Let me see. Probably something. And I do have some stuff going on that weekend, but not much. So hopefully I'll have time to try to figure out the kinks of how to get it on stream. And uh, yeah, we'll be, hopefully be doing some VR in about three weeks. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy. Of course, I always do. Um, safe is my middle name, but it's safe hyphen danger. So, you know, you get a little of everything. Um, so appreciate everybody uh, stopping in, hanging out, and doing all your stuff this week. Supporting however you can. It's been fantastic. Uh, question of the night is, one of the ancient one world wonders, the Hanging Gardens, was found in which city? Now, I didn't know this one. I know my ancient history better than most people better than the average cat that's for sure was it athens babylon rome or tenochtitlan which was um in case you're hearing it and you're like what the hell is that it's basically mexico city now it was the um aztecs mega city back in the day millions of people living there pretty much before most ancient cities in this continent had millions of people in it um and in the rainforest so awfully suspect um, but so is Rome, Athens, and Babylon. They're all pretty good um, guesses at that one. So tell me what your guess is. Tell me if you got it right. Comment it here on Facebook or on YouTube. And let's see what happens. Let's do some shout-outs quick. Um, so I'm going to start with the star senders today. Um, thank you, Sadie Barker, for the 300 stars. Appreciate you showing up and dropping those stars. Good to see you again, Sadie. I really do appreciate it. I haven't seen you in a long time, so it's cool to see you coming back around. Um, Mike, same thing to you. I haven't seen you um, very often in a while, so it's good to see you popping back in the last, um, here and there, the last few weeks uh, and dropping 503 stars. Man, you're amazing. Appreciate it. Didn't see that coming. You're awesome. Uh, I'm going to be going to IT about the fact that your shares don't pop up here. Cheers. I'll give you another. Um, so, William. Dodge, thank you for the like and share. William Harris, thank you for the like and chatting along with us early on there. He must have passed out early, which I don't blame him. He's about six or seven hours ahead. Um, Levon, thank you for the like. And I uh, appreciate Levon and everybody else who um, voted on the PS1 games and Ram Fam streaming. Appreciate you guys being in there and helping out with that stuff. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't play the games we wanted to tonight. Crash 2 and 3. If you watch from the beginning, they just didn't want to work which happens with games that are over 20 years old and that we had when we were children and didn't handle discs well. So, um, Ryan Montgomery, thank you for chatting and being here the whole time. You're amazing as always, my friend. Appreciate you so much, my hype train. Um, thank you for the like and the shares. Notice you started doing the shares this week, um, and that's super awesome. I, I hella appreciate that, and cheers to you as well. Uncanny, thanks for the like. Kayla, thank you for the like. Brittany K. Brown. Never seen you in here before, so definitely appreciate you as well. Big shout out. Thank you for the like. Mike, thank you for that like. Um, Sam, thank you for the like and share and chatting along. I had to call you out, but thank you for chatting along. Uh, Paul Melendez. Um, Paul recently followed, I think last week, and has been a great supporter, dropping likes all the time, whether he's here for the live or not. Um, so big shout out to Paul as well. Thank you for all your support that you've been throwing out there. Big, big appreciate. Um, Manuel Orlando. I don't recognize the name. 
is it, it's somewhat familiar so if you've been here before um thank you but if you're new hell yeah appreciate you dropping that like as you pass by you know we um average a couple hundred views here um when we're live and even after we're live and you know we get maybe 10 10 to 15 likes on average so whenever somebody takes the time to just move that thumb over on their phone and just click that button it means a lot because a lot of people are unwilling to do it i'm scared to have their name on there or whatever it's not a big deal um we appreciate everybody so thank you to everybody who stops in and just presses that button um it, it's really not a lot it takes you about a quarter calorie to do and uh you guys are all awesome for it so appreciate you guys um, again, if you are watching after the stream or on YouTube, please uh, follow or subscribe. Drop your likes, your shares, your comments, and your stars. Appreciate all of you guys. The answer here tonight, one of the ancient wonders, the world wonders, um, the Hang Gardens, was found in which city? Was it Athens, Babylon, Rome, or Tenochtitlan? It is actually one of the most ancient. So... Um, it is from one of the first major cities known to history, um, Babylon. There is some other major cities being found, like uh, Glebeki Tepe um, in Turkey. That's over 10,000 years old and has been changing um, our history and the way we've thought about humans and our advancement. Um, but Babylon is about a little before Egypt, which is one of the more popular um, early civilizations. So it's about uh, seven, 8,000 years old. And uh, Babylon, Babylon is huge. So that is where the Hanging Gardens actually were. Um, anyone who's ever played a civilization game may have made these and maybe knew a little bit about that as well. So gaming teaches a history, but also I just like history. So uh, everyone have a good weekend. Stay safe as well for all of you guys who are having fun out there. Uh, we'll be back probably Monday, and we'll be doing more PS1, like I said. Until then, stay fresh, cheese bags, have a good night and a good weekend.